The woman suspected of causing Tuesday's fatal wrong-way crash on Interstate 90 was back in court this afternoon. 24-year-old Kara Goble now charged with vehicular homicide after one of those crash victims died at the hospital. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey shows us how Goble's alleged drunk driving has caused so much pain. Just when you thought this wrong way crash couldn't get any worse, we now know that Ronnie Morrison's wife actually witnessed his fatal collision from another vehicle and rushed to be by his side. At the same time, a suspected drunk driver slipped away in the early morning darkness. Morrison's wife couldn't believe the woman who had just caused this multi-car crash was now running away from the scene. Instead, she was focused on trying to help her gravely injured husband. You take care of your loved one and uh, you know for other people in the scene to see that person leave it had to be a shock. What Goebel didn't know is that Volkswagen that she helped demolish belonged to a beloved scoutmaster, a father of two children who had just been dropped off at daycare. A hardworking man who built fences for a living, including this one in Riverfront Park. Northwest Fence did uh, jobs down in the park and you know, everybody, including Ronnie, were just a pleasure to work with. Very professional, uh, got the job done right the first time. But because Morrison died of his head injuries on Thursday, prosecutors are now charging Goble with vehicular homicide. That'll double Goble's time behind bars if she's convicted. Morrison's friends just wish Goble had listened to her friends when they told her she was too drunk to drive. And if you see somebody that is impaired, take their keys. Don't allow them to drive. They could kill someone else that, that you know, some other innocent person. So now funeral arrangements for Ronnie Morrison are still pending. A friend has set up a GoFundMe account to help Morrison's family deal with those expenses. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.